Kunui Choi, YouTubers, this is Red Stock, straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review on Galaxy Forest, Transformers, Noise Maze. This is actually from Cybertron. Uh, well, obviously Cybertron, but no, the, the series Cybertron. Noise Maze, uh, yeah, it's from Takata. So this is before Takata told me. Cybertron, all I'm trying to say is Galaxy Forest was back, uh, back in the day. This is the uh, same thing as a Cybertron series. So it's about from 2005. So, just to show you the side of the package here, it used to have a little Cybertron keys, if you remember that gimmick, GX01. Uh, it's a, it definitely is a gimmick. Uh, one of the nice, uh, he's a transformation three stars, there you go. So, looking pretty decent looking guy. Uh, Hyper realistic scene, I don't know if you noticed that before, and uh, a lot of the uh, Takata Tomi things. Hey, that's Galvatron. Galvatron and Galaxy Force. Uh, Optimus, and he is awesome. Cybertron, Optimus, there's Noise Maze, he's looking good. Not a bad looking thing, he's got a uh, Allegiant switching gimmick uh, using the Cybertron key, so not a bad looking toy. Let's look at it. I really, really love the alt mode. The alt mode is just simply fantastic. I just like the wings over here made of these uh, nice shiny painted on chrome. I don't know if the US version has this. It does have the uh, Cybertron key. And one thing I forgot to mention real quick is that it, uh, as uh, a lot of the Japanese Transformers have is a little got the little stat card and the instructions. But y the stat card is uniquely Japanese. You, you don't see that v very much in American, uh, the American toys, the Hasbro toys. So look at the detail and the molding is just fantastic. I love the gold finish, the little chrome, silver, green, orange, black, more gold, <laughs> dark gold at that. A little translucent orange. You can see it all over the place. Translucent. That's uh, painted on orange. Safety orange all over the bottom. So the bottom, uh, you can definitely see the robot parts. A little gap in the back. But it, it, it just, from the top, it's just simply beautiful. You know how a lot of, I really dislike a lot of the Cybertron modes because they really are lazy. But this one, they actually put a good amount of detail and I'm really impressed with it. For a deluxe size uh, figure, it's just looking fantastic. And just for the uh, gimmick, uh, there's the Cybertron key, snaps in, he's a Decepticon, yeah, he, he's an Allegiance, and you can tell the Cybertron key, he's a Decepticon, when it says GX on the Galaxy Force, that's a Decepticon, uh, he's looking good, I'm giving a 9 out of 10 on the alt mode, it, as anything for a Cybertron, this is the best looking thing I've seen in a Cybertron mode in a while, transformation is fairly easy, legs, oh, and that's another thing, man, the, it, the thing's just tab him just beautifully on that so <laughs> enough said legs just pop out right here and we're just gonna go ahead and fold them out and I'm kinda I, I don't know man I, it trips me out when the crotch is split in half like that I don't know why but it basically just flip that down all I did there was just flip that down and that's gonna become his uh well that's the bottom of it right there Flip that around, flip both the legs around 180 degrees. This little piece right here just flips over to the side. And you can just go ahead and rotate that up. Same thing with this piece right here, flips over to the side. And just flip that up. And really, there, there's his legs. legs. Big legs here for support. Heel spur in the bottom. So as you can see, ankles are on a swivel with some heel spurs. All right, uh, arms now. The arms kind of just pop off. So let me show you from the bottom here. They just pop off, and I, I, I still like the orange. I, I really like it. So basically, pop off over here, and this arm is kind of unique in the sense that it also contains the gimmick here, the Cybertron key gimmick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move that down, rotate that. Okay, good. All right, it's looking good. This thing just basically pops down and tabs in right there. Ooh, nice solid tab too. And the back portion, so you don't have a humongous backpack, just slides back down. So it's kind of neat. You can see the, the writing on there, Takara Tomi Hasbro, made in China. Yeah, like, like every toy since, I don't know, the mid 80s. There's his head, beautiful light piping, and I just like his fierce, fierce fierce head there all right let me see I think I got everything there so for a Cybertron figure this is the last line before the the movie toys from 2007 yeah let me just rotate that there 
So he's he does look kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie, he, he does look awkward, uh, but he's very fierce looking, very fierce looking. Thought they had something for that. Could have sworn he had a something else that he can carry. Oh yeah, of course the blades. The blades, actually the cantilevered wings you can put in his fists. Yeah. So yeah, he has this humongous sword if you wanted. So he can definitely, he's loaded for bear. And then the Cybertron key gimmick just pops in right here. And let me see. Yeah, <laughs> so he's got a little crossbow weapon. Kind of doesn't like to attach and you can see again how he, his allegiance is again. Yeah, you get the point. All right, really fierce weapon. Articulation is pretty good. He has a shoulder articulation, shoulder articulation there. So two points of articulation moves a little bit there on the shoulder unintentionally because it doesn't pop in very well on the shoulder. Bicep swivel, single joint on the elbow. Wrist does swivel, so that's kind of good. Has this hum so that you can actually show this humongous weapon. So you got a wrist swivel. It is on a ball joint and very looking very fierce with this humongous light piping. There we go. Yeah, he's definitely a light pipe. Uh, don't really big, not a big fan of the chest here. Ball joint, hip, has a thigh swivel, weird looking knee. So, I mean, you can put him in pretty good poses. As I mentioned before, there we go with the ankle pivot and thigh swivel. So, no doubt, no doubt, uh, he's pretty poseable. Uh, even with a big feet, he is kind of back heavy, so you kind of have to lurch him forward. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, let's see if I can get him up. There we go. So, I mean, he's, he is what he is. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, there he is for a size comparison. He, so he's about a deluxe class. A little shorter than deluxe class, I reckon. So there you go, size comparison wise. Wish he had bigger feet. Uh, the robot mode's kind of a mess, so what can I say? I'll give him a 6 out of 10 for the robot mode, especially if they get his uh, <laughs> balance issues, because he is stringy. Yeah, I mean, he is top heavy, and it shows. It's hard to balance him even with these big feet. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.